This training video shows the biosafety practices and the procedures for the laboratory diagnosis of SARS coronavirus 2. The film is divided into two parts. Part 1 – Steps for receiving the specimen and its separation. Part 2 – Extraction of RNA and setting the real-time RT-PCR experiment. The container carrying the specimens is brought by the hospital staff and delivered at the institute gate. As per government rules, the person will be scanned by a thermal scanner. The hospital staff will keep the container on the designated area and disinfect the container. Security from the gate will inform the concerned laboratory about the arrival of specimens. A lab staff will come to the gate to pick up the specimen container wearing a pair of gloves. Here we demonstrate donning of personal protective equipment for the separation of specimens. The PPE required are lab apron, double pair of gloves, head cap, N95 mask, shoe covers and face shield or a pair of goggles. Please note the order of donning of PPE which is performed in a designated clean area where all the PPE will be kept arranged. Wear the lab apron and tie them up. Don the first pair of gloves and pull above the sleeves of the apron with the cuff of the apron well below the gloves. Tape the gloves to the apron sleeves using abro tape. Carefully fold the end of the tape for easy removal while doffing. Don the next pair of gloves, which is the second pair, and check hand for snug fitting of gloves. Next, take the N95 mask, hold the mask as shown with the metal clip on the top side. Fit the mask on the nose and move the lower elastic first over the head and below the ear. Press the metal clip above the nose for snug fitting and do the fit test by breathing out. Don the head cap and the shoe covers as shown. Finally, cover the face either with a face shield or a pair of goggles. You are now ready to work. In the clinical specimen handling laboratory, the specimen container along with the case sheets will be handed to the lab personnel. The names will be registered in a register Sample ID number will be allotted to the samples and then given to the lab team separating the specimens. The sample separation will be performed in a Biosafety Level 2 lab by personnel in full PPE inside a validated and certified Biosafety Cabinet Class 2 A2. After removal of the secondary container from the vaccine carrier, disinfect the container and hand it over to the staff separating the specimens. The biosafety cabinet will have material only required for the sample separation. Remove the specimen tubes and arrange in the rack. Write the sample ID numbers. Lysis buffer for RNA extraction is allocated from the RNA room and given to the sample separating team. Discard the swabs from the respective tubes in a discarding pan containing disinfectant. Allocate the desired volume of the respective sample into the respective lysis buffer tube. After completion, the lysis buffer containing samples are sent to the RNA extraction team.
and clean the biosafety cabinet. After this, doff PPE as shown in the following order. Discard the outer pair of gloves in the biohazard bin. Remove face shield and the head cap, the tape of the inner pair of gloves, the lab apron removing carefully inside out, the shoe covers, N95 mask as shown with the lower elastic first with one hand and the upper elastic with the other hand. And finally, the inner pair of gloves into the biohazard bin. Before leaving the lab, wash your hands with soap and water as per the steps of WHO. Now we move to the next part, that is part 2. Vortex the tubes containing lysis buffer with samples for 30 seconds. Arrange the tubes in order in the rack and then Add 270 microliter of isopropanol into each tube carefully and mix each time. Each time take a new tip for adding isopropanol to the next tube. Mix the magnetic beads properly and dispense 40 microliter of the beads into each tube mixing up and down. An important step is the mixing of beads with RNA either manually or on a rocker if available in the laboratory at room temperature for 3 minutes as shown in the video. The magnetic beads are separated by keeping them on the magnetic stand for 1 minute. The magnetic beads are attracted towards the magnet. Remove and discard the supernatant without disturbing the beads which has the RNA. Place the tubes in the rack and resuspend the beads with 200 microliter of isopropanol.
repeat the steps of mixing of beads and separation on the magnetic stand as before. Next, wash the beads with 400 microliter of wash buffer provided in the kit. Mix well and separate the beads on the magnetic stand. The wash step also has to be repeated for the second time. Finally, air dry the beads. For elution of RNA, add 60 microliter of the elution buffer provided in the kit to the respective tubes and mix well. Seal the tubes with parafilm and incubate at 56 degrees centigrade in a water bath for 5 minutes. Allow the magnetic beads to settle on the magnetic stand for 3 minutes and later remove the RNA carefully without disturbing the beads into a freshly labelled 1.5 ml Ependorf tube. Keep the eluted RNA on ice or store it at minus 80 degrees for future use. The preparation of the master mix in the clean room will be simultaneous to the RNA preparation done by another personnel. Importantly, Person isolating the RNA will not enter the clean room. Work will be performed inside a biosafety cabinet, class 2A2. After purging the biosafety cabinet, reagents and consumables, such as fresh tube of nuclease-free water, primer probe mix for four targets, such as e-gene, RDRP, ORF1B and an internal control RNA-SP, buffer and enzyme, all maintaining the cold chain by keeping on ice or inside a mini cooler will be taken out. Calculate the number of reactions 
based on the sample numbers along with one NTC and one PC for each target. As the probes are light sensitive, the master mix preparation and aliquoting on the plate should be carried on with the biosafety cabinet lights turned off. However, keep the room light on. Take a 96 well real time PCR plate and place it on a PCR cooler. Assign one full row for one target. Dispense 20 microliter of the master mix of each target into the designated wells. Add the sample RNA to the plate in the RNA room. Turn on the real time machine along with the computer system. Open the software and open a new file. Give a name to it. Select properties such as machine, assay and reagents. Next, go to the plate setup. Select the targets along with dies. Select the number of samples and assign the samples NTC and PC to the respective targets in the plate layout. Place the reaction plate from the PCR cooler onto the plate holder in the machine. Go to the run method. Enter the cycling condition and the run method. Click on start run. Note the estimated run time which appears on the screen. After completion of the run, Analyze the results by setting the threshold for each target. Note the CT values for each sample and compare with the controls, NTC, PC and RNAs P. Report the results in the report format and communicate. Thank you.